Hey folks, uh, Dave at NAC Builders, doing another topic on NAC functionality. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, some ways to reduce uh, your records in your app and the storage space you use. The number of records or all the lines and all your different tables and objects. And space would be used up either by images or files that you upload. Both of those are the primary driver of uh, what plan you're going to be on or what additional cost you have. So uh, keeping those reduced uh, can save us money. I'll be back here shortly to get into that. Thank you. Okay, here I am to talk about reducing records and uh, storage space in your app. Uh, number one thing um, that you should do if you're using images, this is new to the new builder. Any image field you have, click on the image. Hold on. Open up the image field. They now have a function to resize images. You know, most like phone, if you're capturing the images by phone, almost all phones, especially iPhones, I mean, it's almost two megabytes, and those could accumulate it really fast. If you click on this, I just do web-friendly, or that's going to reduce it quite a bit, and uh, or you can do something custom. If you're in the old builder, and you apply this one, now in the new builder, it's going to tell you every image in there will be resized and that's a good thing you don't need a very big to deal with it unless it's you know you're doing some image management system and you need the full resolution um, if you're just capturing regular images in an app you don't need the full size of phone does um, so just do that or if you build a new app uh, obviously in the new builder uh, you can manage that directly when you're creating your app so that could say i just did that for a client the other day they got a notice they exceeded their storage and she said oh my god uh i said don't worry we're going to do a couple things and you're going to be good for a while it reduced just by doing that it reduced it she was on a starter plan she was exceeding two gigabytes and it went down to just 800 uh, so more than half so that's one big way another way is a lot of people don't know about this one if you're newer to NAC. Now, I actually, I'm in a shared builder, uh, my shared builder account, but I'll show you this. You see where it says storage here? If you're in a, um, I'm going to pull this up. If you're in an account owner, not a shared builder, I'm going to bring this up. Um, where it says storage, that would be highlighted in red. And you can click on that. And... There's something called delete unused assets. Basically what that is, is if you've deleted stuff or it could be a, some other things too, but they it's not being used in your app, but they still store it. Uh, just in case you requested a, uh, let's say a recovery of a backup uh, from some point in the, in the past. Um, they need to have these stored so they can, you know, access them. But if, most of the time, you know, if you're gonna, if you deleted stuff, you're not concerned about it. You can say delete unused assets. You, you click that red number that says how, what your amount is, and then a little thing will pop up here that says delete unused assets, and um, you just delete them. You know, you can read the thing. You, you can't get them back after that. So make sure you, you don't need some recovery from the past. Uh, uh, and that, that can get rid of a lot too, depending on how you use your app. So those are a couple of the first points. Here's, now this gets more involved. A couple other things here. Um, and first of all, if you're going to be deleting records, um, or or any data in there this may this doesn't apply necessarily to smaller companies but if your company has a policy about data retention you should know what it is and you should follow it um 
But if that doesn't concern you, um, here's another way you can get rid of things. I'm going to go here. This has an image field into it. And let's say you didn't want to get rid of the history. This is like an invoice and line items sort of thing, or order and line items. Um, after some point of time, call it a year, call it six months, it doesn't matter. Or the sale's done and you don't need something anymore. In this case, this particular thing doesn't have uh, images in it. Uh, let me go to one that does. I'm not going to run this, by the way, but... Line items. So this does have images. And if this was creating a problem, after they, these people conclude what they're doing with an order, they don't need this image anymore. Uh, I, I don't think so. But you can, um, you could create a field in here that was a time, or related to time, number of days since this order. Uh, and it you know, could get up to, let's say, 365 one year. You could set a task that says, hey, uh, test, um, I, I don't have all the data here, but when, when number of days since last order is 365, so that it happened once, only when it's 365, you want to make the image value and make it blank. So that will just basically it won't delete the record but will delete the image uh, and you can do this on a schedule or you can just run it yourself occasionally you can this task can be on a schedule that just it runs uh, or if you're doing I don't know, once a quarter or even once a year you want to just clean up your stuff um, you can you can do an update field the same way update uh, all things that are 365 or, or whatever, uh, go to next and create the image field as, as, um, as blank. And the same for uploading documents. Now, PDFs aren't big drivers of stuff, but um, if you turn a PowerPoint presentation into a PDF that has images in it, that can be a big one too. So you're going to deal with it however you want. And... So that's deleting an item within a record, but not the record. Now, if you want to delete records, now, first of all, there is not a function in NAC where you can run a task uh, and it will delete the matching records. It's just not there. I wish it was. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't have that. Maybe, I don't know, they make money on number of records, but also it maybe it causes problems with... People make too many mistakes when they do that, and then they're, I don't, I don't know, their um, support gets over them. Regardless, it's not available. So you can, you're going to have to think through this, how you would do this. Now, remember, let's say you were deleting old orders, uh, things that were however old you want them. We don't need them anymore. Um, think through that, because historical stuff is pretty valuable uh, often. If you delete an order, it will not delete the related records. So if I deleted an order, um, and I went over to line items on that order, here's all these orders. This is reference to what order it was. If I deleted order 45, this would now be blank, and they'd be what's called an orphan record. And if you know what you're doing, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You could delete... Uh, all the orders that are X amount and then you can if you wanted to clean up the, the orphan ones you can go to line items and you can do a, a batch delete um, I'm not even going to screw around with batch or touch and delete stuff in an active app I'm going to go to this copy that's just good practice but um um Let's go here, uh, line items, orders, batch. You can delete all things, you obviously don't want to do that for this particular one. Batch delete, you can add criteria. In that case, if I got rid of the order first, I could just do it, I want to, I want to delete all line items where 
order is blank and then run that and get rid of those uh, those are the main ways now I don't know if there's any sort of talking about deleting records like an integromat scenario I just don't know this um, that would uh, run and delete records with the neck that could be useful um, any, anyone knows put in the comments okay folks that's what I had if you like this like it I'll be back with more soon. Thanks.